What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today I have another wallet review for you guys. Now I am very very passionate about leather wallets. I own a lot of leather wallets and I've worked with a lot of leather uh, you know, brands and companies and I love to find new and innovative wallet designs to share with you guys and new companies trying to you know make it out there in that crazy competitive world. And I think this company, known as Black Stag Leather, is doing a fine job. Uh, it's ran by a guy named Chase, and he was nice enough to send me uh, one of his wallets for a review, and this is it right here. So I just want to say right off the bat that the condition that you're seeing the wallet in right now is about a week and a half to two weeks of uh, use every day in my pocket, uh, me using it. I like to test out all my wallets for at least a week or two and see how they patina, and this one, as you see, has patinaed very nice. So how this is carried according to Chase is there's one pocket on the front for cash, there's that middle slot for some cards, and then there's the back slot for more cards, maybe more frequently used cards, you put the less used cards in the middle slot. Uh, I personally don't carry cash much when I do, it's usually just a few bills, so I usually fold those up into threes and slide those in the middle compartment, and I keep uh, my license and my insurance card on one side, uh, you know, on the outside pocket, and then on the other outside pocket, I keep my two most used cards, which are my debit and my credit card. So what I like about this design is you can kind of custom tailor how you carry your stuff, you know, and you can always switch it around and make it a little different. So now a little bit about the materials that goes into his wallets. He uses Wicket and Craig leather, and the you know type of leather he uses is glazed harness leather. If you guys don't know what Wicket and Craig leather is, they're a very old and trusted, tried and true tannery in the USA. They make fantastic, fantastic leather, uh, and this leather has patinaed very nicely. It's nice and glossy. It has a really nice sheen to it. Uh, and, you know, within my first couple days of use, it already started to feel nice and soft and started to kind of form to the cards. Um, I personally like that look. I love when leather looks all dark and dirty and rustic and, and worn in. That's when I personally like leather when it's at its most patinaed state. And this is a really, really good brand if you want to get that nice patina. And the type of thread he uses is called Ritza thread. And uh, as you see, he kind of did like a green combo, which I really like. I really like the contrast in all the colors. I think it looks really cool. I'm not familiar with Ritza thread in particular, but this thread is held up very nice. It doesn't seem like it's going to rip on me anytime soon. And I'm very happy with the, uh, you know, with the durability of this wallet. And what is really cool about this leather company is it is all made in the USA out of a town called Coffeeville, which I really like uh, in Kansas. So you're getting nice, really good quality uh, handmade leather gear in the USA. I just think this is a fantastic wallet and, you know, it definitely needed to be featured and uh, shared with you guys. So I really hope you go buy a wallet from this guy. Uh, super nice and he makes really, really good quality gear. So he doesn't necessarily have a website. Uh, you can find his Instagram here. Uh, you basically just go on there, message him, and kind of work something out with him, and he will create it for you. But if you do message him on Instagram, tell him that ZSB Vids sent you. I'm sure he'd be happy to uh, hear from you guys. But anyway, that is going to do it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay humble. Peace.